Ronnie wanted to rip it side by side a little bit. the tires. Alright, let's see it. I'm gonna go ahead and call Ken's retire right now and get me a new fresh, new fresh set coming to the back. Yeah, they might get a little cooked. What do you have to say for yourself? I thought you wanted my autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Let him do it. I think you should have flipped the machine instead of flooring it. <laughs> this grass grows back so fast. It's nothing oh, to worry man. about. The Ronnie Renner signature. I or not, so I just stayed on the juice a little bit. Smart move. Smart thinking. We'll probably never financially recover from this. Dude, I'm sorry, man. You should probably just <laughs> let me fix it and then give me the deed. <laughs> I don't want to make you feel bad or anything, but this might be the most devastating thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I'm guessing try three. Rip it. So see the water? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Look <laughs> <laughs> at that, dude. Cleaning your unit for you? Wow. Glad you got that. Fix my divot a lot quicker. Yeah, that's. We actually, this is the divot fixer 9000. But it also washes the track too. See that How about mud? my sins away? See all the mud you left? Wash it right away. Nice. No need for rain. You think there's enough water pumping through those sprinklers to wash my sins away? Yeah, but you're gonna have to get closer. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fraud YouTube channel. Pallet's sliding off the forks. Gotta add some tilt. There you go. That's a pallet for sure. Yes! Yes! Oh! Too soon. You should've went, you should've went one more foot, you would've had it. Oh, that was almost awesome. <laughs> Mysteries of the Freedom Factory, episode one. Bet you didn't know that this is a giant fishbowl technically and it holds water right up to the surface of the grass. Well, today we're here to solve that and we're gonna show you just how we're gonna do it. My goodness. Big old holes in the Freedom Factory, folks. We're digging for gold. All right, so this is the subsurface drainage pipe that we have in that has a sock on it. So this can take in water from wherever it is, as long as it's buried, and that should pull in all the water that's just kind of stuck. Yeah, that's called a French the... drain. That's the, oh. the technical term for that. The French drain. Okay, so guys, we've got an additional surface drain here, and then the French pipe goes underneath here, back to the main drain, because we're just having a little bit of an issue getting the water from in this field to that pipe. So you got surface drain, surface drain, and then all the way down, and surface drain over there. So this all just dates back to them putting the drains pretty high back in the 70s, but I don't think they had the technology we have available today to decide where the drains went. But we got that solved and essentially how that works is the French pipe comes back in and then ties into the actual main storm drain that connects to that one. That one connects over there and then out of the park. So guys, as you can tell, this is almost finished and once they're done just connecting these drains into the main storm drain, 
all this will be cleaned back up and you can tell you know it cleans up pretty good but after a day of rain and some sunshine it'll probably be just back to normal you'll never notice it so guys it breaks my heart that i didn't get to witness this but we directionally bored in this four inch pipe all the way from over by our south side well straight in under the track and back out on the inside which i'll go back over there and show you right now and boom it comes out right here these guys nailed it in one shot made it freaking happen so guys, this will be the new feed line for the entire irrigation system throughout the Freedom Factory. You can see there's some pipe being laid out now. We got a ditch witch over here and they are going to be cutting lines through the entire Freedom Factory today to be placing in irrigation heads all over the place. Well, sprinkler heads, you know them. So that fresh water can reach every single corner of this property. Keep this grass nice and green, but Alan the Lawn Care Nut is on the way. So we'll talk to him before we roll out. All right, guys, so these guys are going to be out here working today, putting in the main lines. There will be about 100 sprinkler heads flagged out by the end of the day. So we'll be back later tonight to show you the progress. But this is a start, and uh, pretty excited to have some irrigation in here. It's that dry season comes. You can't let this beautiful grass die. That's right. We've been really lucky with the rain right now, which the rain's good and bad. But, yeah, we definitely need some irrigation so we can keep this nice and green all winter because where we're at here is below the frost line. So this lawn will not go dormant. And so, therefore, we can keep it green and growing all year long. Heck, yeah. All right, cool. Thanks, y'all. All right, guys. So right now what we're doing is we got the hose going and we are letting the water tell us where we need to put our drains in. So, I mean, it's somewhere in this area. This is the lowest point, but you can see the water is finding its way and will tell us exactly what we want to do. What do you think, y'all? Well, I think it's needed for sure. We're putting drainage in the infield. Might as well put drainage on the path, too. Yep. Uh, drain all the things. The water has basically stopped right here. We're thinking somewhere in this area is where we're going to put the drain, wherever the deepest spot is. But uh, it's kind of a high traffic area. So even though this might not be the exact deepest spot, we're going to push it a little bit off the side to keep it off the traffic. Okay, guys, so it looks like we're going to have one drain down there. And then we're running the water this way now to see where we need our drain down here. Looks like this will work out perfect. We'll have them out of the traffic and we can always plug them if we need Lake Freedom back. That's the largest drill bit I've ever seen in my life. She's pretty big. 12 inches of freedom right here. All right, let's give it a rip. So guys are worried we got such a long extension cord that it's not going to, uh, it's gonna start drawing too much and probably pop the breaker, but it's worth a shot to see what happens. Get her Here we go. <laughs> got water now. The little valve on the drill wasn't working, so. The water just keeps pulling back in there. That's kind of convenient. I think you're getting close. I can't wait to have this with a paperweight. A little <laughs> chunk of the trash. I'm going to sell the other one on eBay. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's dirt, bro. Hell yeah. I think we did it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. damn! Wow, it's moving. Dude, I can't wait to have a core sample, man. Oh, fire me up. I feel like we should have just used the, the, the drill bit the and drill used like itself. a suction and yanked it out real quick. That's probably what it came up. <laughs> Here, let's keep doing the prime back yep. and forth thing. Lift up on that side a little bit. So that almost got one like well under it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Go eat, go eat. Hell yeah! There you go, sweet. Dude, that's a piece of history right there. All right, so there's our first uh, core drill. Do one more over there, and then uh, let the water drain. No more Lake Freedom. No more Lake Freedom. Dude, that thing has a nice cut on it. Yeah. Damn. There's our dirt, our base.
Oh. There goes Gary. Oh. Jeez. You know the water that went in it instantly though? I think we chose the right spot. Yep. You can yeah. just see it's draining. Yeah, it's running. Yep. Oh, running right in. It's going to fill it up, so we got to get our hole dug. Looks good. Heck yeah. What the hell, dude? Dude. Look at that difference. Yeah, I mean, that's just the dirt below, I think, because there was like a deep pocket right there mm -hmm. in the dirt. This one just got more concrete. Yep. I don't really know what to say, you know? It just it happens. That's how she goes. Well, there is about to be sprinkler heads everywhere. Biggest problems are going to be keeping my friends from sliding through cleaning off the tops of all of these sprinkler heads. Alrighty guys, so as you can see the piping is dropped in. One good rain and most of this dirt will uh, just kind of clean itself up. This place will be looking back to normal in no time. Yeah, that thing definitely makes life pretty simple. Hard to be that. Just drop the line in and bury it and you're good. show you the drains real quick you guys are gonna love this these guys did such a good job of laying these back in look at that dude it is so flush with the concrete it's absolutely perfect and we had a huge rainstorm last night came here this morning she was dry 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 as can be so basically there's a three inch pvc line that goes under there over right to the main drain and uh you can see all these other ballast cars that are in every section these are all for the main irrigation head so got just some pvc tubing underneath there but we strategically placed all of the sprinkler heads so that they are not in a spot that would hopefully get hit by cars no matter what we do they are going to get hit by cars but uh over here on the burnout pad area we tried to put them right next to the concrete so that if a car went off it would just kind of hopefully jump over them but you'll see in sections over here like these little areas we had to put them four or five feet in which means the sprinklers have to do a full 360 and it actually does spray onto the asphalt which isn't a big deal but we just can't run them right before we're going to use it luckily it's florida though all of the water dries so fast because the sun's so hot and it puts so much heat into the ground water evaporates super quick but between the drains and everything else that we've improved we are now good to go but we have a guy from toro coming today to give us a full explanation rundown on the irrigation system which i'm super excited to use it it's gonna be cool all right how are you doing matt doing from great. toro what's yep. going on good to see you gonna give us a rundown on the new unit today yep we will so why don't we start with the Very irrigation excited. control unit yeah. itself and uh heck yeah kind of walk you around the unit Ooh. so yeah look at that your favorite color <laughs> oh yeah so freedom factory blue <laughs> that's right again. freedom factory blue so toro owns a brand called Irritrol, and Irritrol is a is a as a product line that we produce for a very long time and okay. uh you know we're known for making products in this beautiful gray plastic that lasts a lifetime beautiful. so this is the brain that controls the hydraulics out in the field so this in, unit in particular is the yeah. rain dial and what does that do hickey yeah that is a weather sensor and a rain sensor so that's evaluating what the weather's doing on site oh. and then the controller receives feedback from that system and adjusts the run times up and down yeah. based on what the weather's doing yeah. here at the Freedom Factory. So you don't have to worry about changing your run times as okay. the seasons progress. I hate driving by people's houses when it's raining and the sprinklers are on too. Right, you won't be that guy. So oh, it, it'll yeah. do two things. So it'll make sure that you're not watering in the rain and then it'll also pull your run times down when the weather cools off and the Perfect. grass isn't using as much water. And then conversely, when the weather heats up, it pushes the run times up and it, it gives them more uh, water. So, but we've added some special intelligence here with the climate logic unit you'll see here. So it's a uh, kind of a low key looking device, but this yeah. auxiliary device here plugs into this controller oh, and it interfaces with it. And so this unit can communicate with the sensor here in a, in a simplified sense. It's evaluating how strong the sun is beating down on the location here, and it measures that scientifically. Golly. This also connects to our remote that we have as well, right? It does, correct. That's, so I'm this, this, is, this. Uh, this acts as a receiver unit, so it's ears 
for this little remote unit. And okay. this remote here is just basic, a basic radio that allows you to turn zones on uh, without having to come back to the controller. Yeah, which is so nice because we're always, you know, randomly shooting out there with cars. And, you know, today we went out there and Alec just hit pause and everything shut down for a minute. Yep. Very That's nice. so great. Nice and easy. And, you know, the the irrigation zones are far away from the controller. So yeah. if you're out there and you notice, hey, it's looking a little dry in the west end of the track, yep. you don't have to drive all the way up here, turn the zone on manually. Mm -hmm. You can just pull out your handy remote, Sweet. So turn easy. the zone on for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Nice. Well, let's go try it out. Let's do it. Oh, cool. yeah. This is a very nice setup. And then we also have a brand new pressure tank, too, which is yeah. Freedom Factory Blue. Look at what Alec keeps in the Defender. We got air compressor, fire extinguisher, paintball gun, weed killer, simple green, and some irrigations. <laughs> what a guy. I love it. You have two numbers, basically, right? So this first set of numbers indicates the zone. So in this case, this is zone one. And then the second number indicates runtime. Oh, so sweet. if we hit enter, you know, this is sort of like the play button on your on your yeah. video. If you hit the enter button, zone one's gonna come on for 10 minutes. So, Rip if, it. so if we go ahead and hit that. Where's zone one? Oh, there they are. Yep. So turn one and two is zone one. Hire me up. Yep. All right, zone three. Then we can just hit zone three and go ahead and move to that one. Oh, here we go. That's some over here and some over there. Ooh. There so zone three is like half of this and that. Oh. <laughs> Am I running multiple zones? Oh, those ones shut off. Dude, that is so cool, man. Yeah, simple. How'd you guys come up with this? Love yeah, it. Toro has a lot of great engineers and uh, these guys know what they're doing. Once you guys get um, an internet connection in that building, we yeah. can set it up to where you can manage it from your phone. Oh. So, Fire the me up. That, you know, your nice phone is you know, you touch it with grubby hands. Yeah. If you have the remote, it's pretty forgiving in that it's waterproof. The interesting thing about this head is that it has a five inch pop up height. Yeah. And you, you have this beautiful Pro Vista St. Augustine grass that Alan Hain, the lawn care nut, uh, oh, yeah. uh, hooked you guys up with. And so the thing about St. Augustine grass is when we're in the rainy season and when it's been fertilized properly, that stuff grows. Yeah. And so a five inch pop up on this head gets the water above the canopy of the turf so that we're not wasting it. We're putting the water on the grass where we yeah. want it and uh, we have the proper prop up height. So if it's been seven days since you've watered and this thing has been fertilized and it's healthy and the height is up a little bit, this head can still get up over the canopy yeah. of the turf. It's nice water. too because it dips down and they were able to put them so low that I think, you know, even if we went over a couple of them, they yes. hopefully would be okay. Yeah, because you naturally, the heads will naturally sink a little bit after installation they'll just settle in a little bit right oh yeah and so it's nice to have that extra inch of height you know the standard height you'll see in in uh, irrigation heads like this is a four inch pop-up height but yeah. toro has uh built this nice t5 rapid set rotor that has a five inch pop-up height let's see here oh yeah <laughs> that is so cool right. All right i gotta turn it back on now hold on Oh, brother. <laughs> Dude, the freaking remote is just the coolest thing. That is awesome. <laughs> so, you know, those things, basically, you can set them to where if you, if you had this head right up against this edge and you wanted to water 180 degrees like this, right? Yeah. Um, if you needed to change that arc, the cool thing about this head, too, is you can change the arc, say, from 180 degrees to 90 degrees. You can do that without a tool. So there's a tool-free arc adjustment there. Yeah. That uh, it means you don't have to fumble around under the seat of your your six by to to make the adjustment. You can sweet. do it by hand without a tool. And that's just you run it back and forth. And yep. it sets yeah. Yeah. There's gear. a way to adjust the stops on the ends by running it back and forth and reducing the arc. So it's real simple. And. Um, but it seems like you guys already got everything set up to yeah, get every everything's square dialed, inch so of grass. Should be, you should be in good shape here. Do we have any spares laying around? I think we can make that happen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I gotta say, these guys did such a great job. And uh, I can't believe just how well everything works, man. You freaking click the button, it all comes on perfectly as it should. All right, well, shout out to Toro and Alan the Lawn Care Nut and Edgewood Landscaping, who helped us even with the drains, which was just kind of a bonus job when they showed up. Those guys did a freaking awesome job. Everyone did a great job. Super excited to have some irrigation and also some better drainage so we don't have the standing subsurface water that we had. It all came together, but uh, freaking 
shoot, that's it. I guess uh, time to use this place. All right, well, thanks, Matt. Hey, my pleasure. Hopefully, Enjoyed it, appreciate uh, you guys having us uh, be a part of your project. You know, my son is a, is a big fan, so we'll be watching the Freedom Factory as you just take it one step after another and making this place oh, what yeah. you hope it'll that's be. That's the goal, man. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, have a good one. Perfect.